Hey there, it's MJ here, and today's video is about the single most common reason people don't keep moving down their spiritual path or, you know, don't overcome blocks in their spiritual path. Um, so if you want to check that out, if that's something that you have been experiencing and you want to understand how to get around that, stick around. Welcome back. So the single reason most people don't progress on their spiritual path is that it's hard. Let me explain and let me see if I can help you if you're feeling like you are um, stuck or having a hard time progressing. I just made another video about stuckness. I gave some tips and some process about how you can, you know, move forward. So you know, there's a, a little card here. If you want to follow that to the other video, awesome, please do. Um, also, if you want to drop a little note about your own experience about uh, either you or someone that is on your path, someone maybe like a twin flame or something like that, that's not moving on their spiritual path, if you want to drop that experience down below, please do. Um, so the single most powerful reason that people don't fulfill or, you know, keep moving on their spiritual ascension journey is that it's difficult. And the reason it's difficult, I'll share a little bit of, of um, astrology. Those of you who watch my channel know I teach classes about the North Node, okay? And the North Node in your astrology chart really shows you your work, uh, what you're here to do on this path. And what's so interesting to me about that is it's really about clearing up past life karma that has that is blocking your way it is blocking your path to move forward and you're here to unlock that okay so here's how it works uh those of you who've taken my north node class you know this um your south node and your astrology chart if you don't know you can watch my understanding astrology understanding the basics of astrology you can do that or whatever you want um the south node in your astrological chart in your zodiacal wheel is the stuff you've dragged from a past life Okay? It's the it's the unfinished business of a relevant path. It doesn't have to be the previous past life. You've had thousands of past lives. But the relevant um, past life karma, unfinished business that you've dragged into this life. It's something that you need to fix and complete and clear in this life. So that's why a lot of people go keep going toward this south node. The South Node is also your comfort zone because you've been there before. So you, it may interest you to know that just going at it is not unlocking it. The key to unlocking it is going toward your North Node. That's where the keys to that vehicle are, okay? So there's that vehicle in your, in your driveway and you keep trying to unlock that door with no keys. Frustrating, right? So it may be all right for you for a while. Maybe the door was open in the car. Maybe you're able to, you know, kind of do what you need, sit in the car or, you know, be near the car, whatever, but it's not moving. So sometimes people really cling to that car. They cling to that vehicle because they know that there's something really important I need to do here. It is your comfort zone, okay? North node, not your comfort zone. So in order to get the keys, you've got to go into that house and you've got to go find those keys. That's where your, um, the, uh, the ability comes from. You're essentially going into that car. The keys is a metaphor for learning something new, learning a new skill, learning a new capability, learning something that you need to progress as a soul in this life and in lives on and on. Okay. So, when you go toward the North Node, it feels uncomfortable, unfamiliar, it feel, may feel a little scary. And so you retreat back into that South Node energy. Totally forget, you know, totally understandable. This is a totally normal thing. Give yourself a break. Like, you know, I, I can't believe I, I keep going back to my comfort zone. Well, why? Why can't you believe that? That's kind of how things are set up in the 3D world, right? But as a spiritual being moving down the road of your spiritual path, the universe has an answer for that. And you know what that's called? That's called a tower moment. Things blow up. If you hold on to that south node long enough, if you embrace a comfort zone thing, whether it's a relationship or a job or a career 
or a way of being in this world or um, something that you just find like you don't want to release and let go of eventually this is what midlife crisis are all about people holding on to their comfort zone too long it gets blown up and then then you're like in it okay then you're in the soup and you've got to figure out how to survive it's like that dual survival show where they just drop you into a place and you've got to use all of the skills you already know in order to get you out of that okay so it's not i i think i want to reframe this south node for you and help you understand that south node in your chart is not about oh i'm done with that it's about no longer clinging to it so you can use all the skills that you've learned in your past lives of course you can this is something that's going to be important all of those things but use them in such a way to go toward the north node because you're unlocking those ruby boots or that emerald dagger or whatever it is you're unlocking the next level by going toward that north node okay so in your birth chart north node south node are mathematical points they're not planets nothing like that they are positions it's an ellipse around the moon it's the you know i don't want to get in too deep to that part of it because it's not relevant to this video north node shows up on your birth chart south node western astrology don't always place it south node always 180 degrees directly across from that north node and they always move backwards okay yeah right so when you see that north node it looks like a little set of headphones that is your work in this life that is the purpose that's what you are supposed to go toward in this life so I will share with you my own experience here because this is how I learned to start the YouTube channel I kept going back toward my south node I kept getting blown up those skills and talents were still useful as I went toward that north node but it was a different a different learning experience for me. My north node is in the eighth house and the sign it's in is Gemini. So the house it's in is very important because it says what part of my life is most affected and then Gemini. Okay. So is the sign and it's like the energy I'm needing to work with more in order to activate that. Okay. So there's a lot more to this. I'll probably do some follow on videos in a couple weeks or something about you know, transiting planets and activating by aspect and all of those things are super duper important. But for purposes of this video, I just wanted to talk with you about this North Node because I am so passionate about it. When I learned that my North Node was in the eighth house, I read, I read up about the eighth house. Eighth house is about transformation. It's about death. It's about the stuff that's behind closed doors. It's about the secrets. It's hidden. It's you know, being interested in Akashic records. It's being interested in astrology, tarot, all of these things. It's also someone who might be interested in, you know, things that we keep hidden. It's a lot about secrets. It really is. I'm an adopted kid. That was a secret. It's not a secret anymore, but you see what I'm saying? This is part of my life's journey is to embrace that truism, is to embrace that. And it's also about with Gemini energy, it's about being a messenger. So I am a messenger of hidden knowledge. My job is to dig deep into stuff and help you guys understand it. That's my job. And I was like, well, how am I going to do that? How am I, you know, so when I look back at my past careers, I was a reporter, producer. Sounds familiar, right? Like that's, that's Gemini energy. That's right. But I was focused on creating stability Eighth house and second house are directly across from each other. Second house is about creating stability. Eighth house is about change. So my job is to navigate a lot of change in my life, a lot of different experiences that I have, and then communicate them to you. And so my past life was about creating stability and staying in this, staying in this energy of, I'm doing this for money to create my own stability. My values are around no change lack of change creating stability eighth house all about change okay so totally opposite energies right so i know how to create stability that's what happened in my past life i did that i already been there done that right already did that now my job is to go toward change go toward uncovering uncomfortable secrets for people that's my job and how i figured out the youtube part of it was i was in media 
I knew about television. I knew about t video production. I knew about social media and all these kinds of things. When I looked at what was in my 10th house, Leo, you need to be seen doing this. And my past in, in my past, in this life, in my past, always behind the scenes, always seeking to stay hidden. Okay. Now, even though that's hidden knowledge, the knowledge is hidden. My job is to be seen talking about hidden stuff. Miracles. Miracles happened because I embraced that North Node energy. Okay? So the number one reason why people don't progress on their spiritual path is it's hard. It's uncomfortable. And it's meant to be that way. And if you're comfortable with moving toward the North Node, it makes me feel what my answer to that is. It feels like you are somebody who has gone through a lot in this life and that was, you know, already putting you on the path to that North Node. If it's, you know, if, if, if you would look at that and be like, ah, I'm not that uncomfortable with that. A lot of times you've already done a lot of work of figuring out your North Node. You just don't really know how to put it all together. So go toward that North Node, look up your North Node in your birth chart, get an accurate birth chart, okay? The birth time, birth location, birth day, obviously very important. The more accurate the, the information you put in to a birth chart generator, the more accurate information you will come out, right? Garbage in, garbage out, right? So do your best to get the, the most accurate birth chart. And then I want you to pay attention to the house your, your North Node is in and the sign and uh, we, will we will talk about this further, about how you might work with that. Get curious about this information. This is the work you're here to do. So if you have been feeling stuck, like I said, I just did a video about stuckness. If you've been feeling stuck, if you feel like you can't move, this is a really good way to get yourself moving, is to understand what that North Node is about for you. Start reading about it, start learning about it, and then try to work with the energy of, okay, the house, all right, the house, it's in the seventh house, the house of relationships, and it's in Aries. Well, that's an opposite energy. Aries is about me, myself, and I, but my north node is about relationships. A lot of people's north node have opposite energies, signs that mean the opposite of what the house means. And for me, that's about a blending of those two energies. So in your past life, what that tells me is if you have a north node in the seventh house, the house of relationships, and it's about, and the energy is Aries, that tells me that you need to not get lost in relationships anymore. You need to still maintain your independence, your isness, and not, not fade into the woodwork when you're in a team at work. Don't fade into the woodwork when you're in a relationship. Don't allow someone else to be, you know, it's, it's like, oh, whatever you want, I'll do whatever, you know, whatever you like to do tonight, I don't really care, that kind of energy you're going to need to start working with the Aries energy of, I would like to do this, please. Because you already know how to do the balancing. That's not the growth part. The growth part is standing your ground, being able to be bold and be a leader in the relationship. Okay. So if you'd like to talk more about these kinds of things, I do have a class about the North Node and what it means for you. If you'd like to take that, there's a recorded version. We just did a master class. We'll probably do another one over the summer. And if you'd like to learn more about it, there's a class and you can avail yourself of that. Thank you very much for watching this. If you have questions, please drop a comment uh, or your question in the comments below. I'm very interested to hear what you have to say about this. Okay. All right, my darlings. Mwah.